Hello, hi dear, how are you? This is your project. Uh, according to your assignment requirements, in your assignment, they have three lands LAN 1, LAN 2, and LAN 3. In LAN 1, have two cell tower, one central office, and one default gateway router, and three smart rooms. In LAN 2, they have three access point, one server, and five laptop and two IP rooms. In LAN 3, they have three PCs for data, three IP rooms for voice, one server and one wireless router, and three laptops are connected to wireless. So, first of all, configurations of LAN 1 configured router IP address on interface. This is LAN 1 interface. This is LAN 2 interface. This is LAN 3 interface. This is LAN 1 interface configured IP address on interfaces. Then configured cell tower and configured IP phone. Config tab and 3 4G wireless and provider name and connect because cell tower have configured provider name. This is provider name. We have seen this is provider name that configured on all phones. So this is LAN 1 network. This PC to this router have successfully ping to each other. Okay, successful. Okay. No LAN 2, this is LAN 2 configured wireless access point, U3 wireless access point, and 5 laptop and 2 IP phone are connected. This is server configured static IP on server. This is go to services and DSCP. This is service server have configured DSCP server. So all uh, laptop and uh, mobile phone are getting IP from DSCP server. Okay, they also successfully ping to each other and ping to gateway. Okay, success. And this is main LAN 3. In this LAN, we have configured VLANs uh, for data VLANs assigned to PCs and voice VLANs assigned to IP phone. Go to router, show you command show VLAN brief this is VLAN this is a port assigned to data VLANs and this port assigned to VLANs twice VLAN twice for IP phone okay these uh, interfaces have assigned for data VLANs VLANs 10 and voice VLAN VLAN 20 and switch router have configured router on a stick protocol so running configurations command. This is router on a stick protocol. Configurations. So you router. This is router on a stick protocol on interface 1-0.10 for 10 VLAN, dot 20 for twice VLAN. Okay. In this router have configured IDSCP pool for IP phone. And this server have configured DSCP for data VLANs. Okay. Now go to uh, router have configured telephonic services. No router have configured telephonic services. This is telephonic services command. This is telephone. This all are telephonic services command. When we have configured telephonic services and DSCP, a IP phone or getting IP, you have checked IP on VLAN 20 because VLAN 20 have configured for uh, voice VLAN and VLAN 10 for configured for data VLAN. IP phone are getting IP from DSCP that configured and line number. You have checked line number successfully communicate telephonic services sign IP. A telephone number 2002 this IP phone have configured line number 2003 and this IP phone have configured uh, telephone number 2001 okay 
no okay, in this line i have configured wireless router go to wireless router go to config tab wireless tab this is ssid and password are nothing if we configured password then we have configured on password on wireless lan let's go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 key then copy this key no you have checked all laptop or disconnected because password is not configured so wireless side ssid is configured and password assigned you have checked this i uh, this laptop is connected to this wireless okay no again con configured wireless on this laptop go to wireless security and now go to this wireless and configure okay now you have checked all three laptops are successfully configured to the wireless now you have checked the connectivity this pc to this pc is successful this pc to ip phone successful because router on a stick protocol is configured this pc to this wireless router is successful now go to a uh, two route uh, ip phone ip phone 0 and ip phone 1 I have checked this have number 2003 dial number 2003 ringing if we click on connect so both telephone are connected this have successfully communications for data and voice relay now finally router have configured router is connected to the isp router for net purpose net is a network address translation in this network di diagram have configured net net means um, local uh, net is a network address translation uh, map the uh, map the uh, private IP address to public IP address. If we go to uh, internet, if the traffic goes goes on internet, then the private network address is mapped to the public IP address. So in this router, have this is net configuration. This is net configuration. And on interfaces, net inside. And this interfaces, serial interfaces are net outside interfaces because traffic are out, other source ethernet traffic are in. No, we have checked the successfully communication the net. If we go to this laptop to this router, we have checked successful. If we uh, go to this router, have IPs 172. Goes to PC for connectivity. Use command ping 172.q.10.1. We have checked successfully ping to each other. This command is used for ping for connectivity and tracer. Tracer 172.0.10.1. Tracer. P. Strong command. We have correct command. No, yes, successful trace complete as successfully communicate goes to router and check the net status. So, IP net translation. This is command is used for net translation. You have checked private IP address is mapped to the public IP address. No, uh, router have uh, checked the IP addresses on the interfaces. So, IP interface. Read command is used for checking the interface IP address. Okay, this is central office server. I inform you about this is backbone. This configured static IPs on backbone, and this is for cell tower. This is connected to cell tower. This is configured IP address. No ISP routers have configured. They check the configurations enable show running configurations check all the configuration on router using command show running configuration check the interfaces show ip interface brief command okay this is all our project 
और प्रोजेक्ट इससे 